Hello everyone, welcome to the AWC Automation channel. My name is Michael Gonzalez and today we will begin the intro to TIA Portal series. The goal is to introduce you to TIA Portal, the all-in-one software framework for Siemens Automation. We will go through basic procedures such as creating projects and understanding the framework layout to adding and configuring devices within TIA Portal itself. In this video, I will show you how to install trial software to get started. But before we can do that, you need to answer the question, what is TIA Portal exactly? Well, as mentioned before, it is a software framework where Siemens automation is configured and programmed. Anything from PLCs to HMIs to drives and even to smart control products can be configured in one software and in one location. This allows ease of use and quicker transitions between hardware components, making it much easier to integrate your systems. Siemens does offer a trial license that can be used to demo TIA Portal. I've added both links in the description below. Siemens just released TI Portal version 16, so we will be showing you how to install the files for the latest software. Step 7 is the software for PLCs within Siemens, and WinCC is the software for HMIs. Note, you will need to have a Siemens login and password to do this. If you want to register, navigate to the top right corner of the website, and you should see a register link, alongside a login link. Fill out the information, and you will be registered giving you full access to the Siemens website. Once you've registered, go back to the download page and scroll down to see a list of files. Download them and make sure to save them in the same folder. I've already done this and have placed them in the same folder on my desktop. It makes it easier for me. When you're finished with the downloads, one of the files should be an executable or application file. You will then double click it and this will trigger the installation wizard and the installation will begin on our PC. Just go through the wizard and select the location of where to install your files. Again, I have already done this process, but the operation should look similar. Once we have completed the installation for the first link, we'll do the same for the second link for drives. This concludes the first video in the series. In the next video, we will learn a little bit about layouts in TIA Portal, as well as how to create a new project. Thanks for your time and we hope to see you soon.